everyone, my name is Deckerlink the Trained and Professional, and welcome back to Major Minor! On the last one, we- Oh, fuck me. <laughs> in all the titles where I included the slash and the Major Minor, I've been doing the wrong slash. Oh, maybe that's- is, is Maybe that's why my logo looks so fucked up. Fuck, man! Alright, whatever. I'm the Train Up Professional, welcome back to Major Minor. On the last one, we kinda got what kinda what felt like a cur- a, uh, a, like a ca like a curtain call, but it's like in the middle of the game, maybe? Maybe it's the end of the game. I don't fucking know. It does not seem like we're at the end of this game. It feels like we're building up to maybe the, the last third. I have no fucking clue. I really don't. So let's- uh, let's find out, shall we? I wish I knew what to do. Honestly, Dusk, I'm conflicted. I can understand, given your situation. I fear my allies are turning against me. I'm just trying to help everybody, Dusk. You've gone done a fine job of that, my lord. You definitely have my allegiance. For that, I am honored. But they don't appreciate my secrecy. I haven't really been transparent. I've been very quiet about my plans, and that means for one important thing, people fill the cracks with imagination. Their own thoughts make me a villain. People tend to do that, especially under such grim circumstances. Many citizens think worst case scenario. They don't have this life of luxury. I think you should visit the people. Work in public relations would be great. I'm not sure about public relations. No amount of that could fix what's coming. Tell me, Dusk. If you could do something truly amazing, would you do it without hesitation? Without a doubt. What if the world hated you for it? They wouldn't see the good right away. No matter how beautiful things ended up. I... I'm not sure, my lord. If it was good, it would be obvious. I don't see why people would hate. See, I can sense hesitance dusk. But don't worry, I feel the same way. Especially when the time is finally here. And now, I'm just not sure. Don't let your resolve falter, my king, especially not based on others' opinions. There are always those who would oppose you. I'm afraid that is the only advice I have. It is not bad advice. I'm glad I sought your counsel. You must think me foolish. The immortal king doubting his actions. I'm supposed to know everything, aren't I? Again, that's just something that people say. Don't become who you think they who they think you are. You'll only end up losing your true self. And that is something we cannot lose. You are wise beyond your years, especially as numerous as they've been. Yes, they've been many, but I fear this may be my last. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh pissity pops. Again, had a much earlier time. Here's the arc, here's the arc, 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 heart, heart! Oh god damn, Toots Magoo! Tits Magoo! Uh, Tits McGee? I don't know. You want me to do what? I'm sorry, I believe I misheard you. I'm afraid you didn't, Mrs. Miss Armstrong. But you know who I am. I'm in the I'm in the business of protecting others. You can't expect me to consider this. Yes, you do like to protect others. But this comes with something else. Do you understand the importance of death? It is everywhere. It is unavoidable. While all around us, it consumes us. The power of death is immeasurable. Surely you've been touched by it as well. Perhaps you've lost someone dear to you. Someone you'd give anything to see again. Even the lives of, lives of others, perhaps. I... Yes, I have. But you can't just... Think of it this way, Max. You know what the Ark is capable of. 
you could bring it an end to death as a whole. That's what you want, isn't it? That's what your company is dedicated to? Protecting others, saving them from death? Nobody would have to lose a loved one again. No one would experience the pain, the grief. Surely this is worth what I'm asking. You're asking me to kill! But think of the loved ones you've lost. Wouldn't you like to see them again? Bring them back, have them full of life? There has to be some other way. I'm afraid there isn't. You've been running from death too long. It's time to embrace it now. Live it. The ruler of the Ark must not fear death. They cannot hesitate in the face of it. You have to confront it head on, Max. You've mastered the concept of life. Your company is dedicated to preservation. Now it's time to embrace the other side. It's true, you protect people from death, but no matter what, death still exists. You need to gain a greater understanding. Only then will you be a fit to rule. A ruler is a master of every avenue, not just one or a few. A ruler can never pretend. Until now, you've run away from death. To rule the Ark, you must master it. I don't know what to say. This isn't something I should consider. But standing here, seeing this place... It gives your words more importance. This place is truly beautiful. But I'm not sure if, it, if this is worth it. If you're being honest about this power, I can't afford to deny your request. An end to death, what I've always wanted. But at the cost of more death? I don't know if I want to stain my hands. I never said it had to be you, Max. Remember the gear I've given you. Using it, accidents could happen. Also, let's not be stupid here. You've used your products for your own gain. I can think of a few times without effort. How does he know that? Just who is this guy? Give me a moment to think about it, please. Of course. It's not an easy decision to make. By all means, take your time. Okay, okay let's, let's recap, recap here, Max. I was at home, like, like I normally was, and after dozing off, off, I found myself here. here. Apparently, it's a place called The Ark. The current owner wants to leave, so he's taking time to seek a replacement. He's told me that it controls time's flow, but he said it controls life and death, too. That means he can kill anyone he wants, or he can keep those he likes alive. For some reason, I am in this contest, but I have to prove my mastery over death. Managing Armstrong is mastering life. I guess I need to see the other side. Maybe that's why he chose me. I'm halfway. First I mastered life, and now death. But I need to kill people to do that. But I don't know, I usually do the opposite. I usually do the opposite. However, he hinted I could use weapons. So that part is somewhat appealing. Wait a minute. If what he said about the Ark is true, I could just resurrect those I've killed. In this case, it is just symbolic. My actions wouldn't be permanent. Unless I lose, of course. But with all this power, I couldn't. Control of time, company assets, I don't think it's possible for me to lose. I have all the time in the world. Jesus, Max, you can play him! Do we want the reverse at all? Alright, I'm in. Do you can you give me more specifics? Yes, of course. A world tour is about to launch in Tokyo. I suggest buying a plane ticket. You'll need you'll be needed there right away. Maybe it looks like I'm cross-eyed. Maybe she's the cause of the midnight deaths. Or maybe... I don't know! I don't know! I don't! We're gonna find out! But... It's so... There's possibilities! Ugh! What the fuck is going on in this crazy town? I don't understand it! Present time! It's a gift. It's, that's why they call it the present. It was dumb. It was a dumb line from a dumb... I don't remember what it's from, actually. I gazed at my phone for what seemed like an eternity. I simply couldn't process what I was seeing. 
Someone else had gained powers from the Ark? I knew that man wasn't telling me everything! My initial instinct was to show this to Akron, but I couldn't reveal my powers to him just like that. Oh, me so lonely. They gifted me a game called Killing Floor, I think it's called. So I'll be playing that here soon with Bree as co-op, so that's... Look forward to that, I guess. Thanks for the gift. That's Game Boy, for those in the comments. Uh, in fact, I don't know who I should show this to. I'd likely have to keep this to myself, which is awful. You could just pretend that you don't know what the Ark is! Just say some crazy person is wanting to threaten my friends. Maybe fucking to protect them. Bitch. Why couldn't someone on my side have powers? Things have not gone my way since I returned from Terra. I suddenly long for simpler times of yesterday. The simpler times of yesterday, back when my biggest worries were Rook and Keela. I long for the peace of what I had experienced. I don't know if I said that last sentence right. It feels like I didn't, now that I'm thinking about it. Especially with the fact that there are weapons here? Even after what Singe said, I was still scared. But I guess Akron was here to protect us at least. So I guess I should pay him another visit and keep him close. But then I remembered Singe wants to see me. Perhaps he could shed some more light on all of this. Because of, as of now, I feel like a prisoner here. And that was definitely not in the contest terms. Mm -hmm. I take a deep breath, and I go to as I go to leave the room. Out of the corner of my eye, I see a box on the floor. It has a small blinking light on it, and it's red. RUN, MOTHERFUCKER! I don't remember seeing that before the conference. But that has to be one of the weapons. Which means I need to get out of this room, which was my only goal. I quickly walk out. Why would you not run, motherfucker? Yes, I'm gonna save this game. As soon as I step out, I see the room... I see the same room as before. Yet this time, it feels different. When I was in here before, I sensed grief and apprehension, but now I sense fright and anxiety. It's palpable. I'm sure that after the conference, the press left. Why would they stay behind in a weaponized building? For now, I was certain that it, it was just that it was just us here. By us, I mean those associated with the tour. I doubt I would run into any strangers for now, knowing that I felt it was easier to calm down. It was welcome in the face of what I had felt before. I quickly scan the room to see what I, who I find. The room was practically empty. I just see Akron. He seems to be guarding the entrance to Singe's office. Almost instantly he makes eye contact with me. Hey there, just who I was looking to see. Got a meeting with the man himself, huh? Would you be able to chat with me first? Something has been on my mind for a while. I mean, about the press conference. I'm sure you know what I mean. A while, but it just happened, didn't it? In fact, I wanted to talk with you sooner, even before the conference began. I just saw you. I just I saw you go with Shock and Rocker. But I guess right now is fine too. In fact, it might be even better. There's something eating away at me. Did my outburst go too far? I feel like Singe belittled me on stage. He certainly shouldn't override my worry. His certainly shouldn't override my worry. I don't understand what that sentence means. I feel like I had a valid concern, William. He chastised me for what I would, what I'm for doing, what I'm paid for. I only acted out of the interest to protect. I feel like others would have done it too, especially after learning about the weapons. My past with Armstrong is not related. I think it was rude for him to imply that, especially in front of my in front of the press. I have a reputation to uphold. A guard can't be emotional like that. There must be no conflict of interest. My agency doesn't approve of that. When I work for, I mean. So that's what I'm wondering. Did I do something wrong on stage, or was I acting as I should have? Maybe Singe was out of line. It's actually a pretty good question. I don't think there's really a right or wrong answer. It was one of these those multifaceted situations. Can't dumb those down to an answer like that. But he stared at me so intently, he expected me to speak, and far be it from me to, ex to leave him hanging. I guess I should just think it over before I answer. 
Well, I don't want to say he's out of line, so I'm going to say he's not in the wrong. Not in the wrong. He's fine. He's fine. Akron likes my response. That's good. I don't think that Akron is in the wrong here. You can never really be wrong in a conflict of interest. Two sides clashing with the op opposing yet moral positions. Or was Singe being moral here? Holding us in this building full of weaponry? Akron speaking out against that. It was totally rational. In fact, he may have been the only one brave enough. The rest of us took the news in stride. Well, you didn't really take it in stride. You more took it in shock. Did I really not bring my water bottle over here? Are you shitting me? Oh, it's still in the kitchen! God damn it! Why should he get the heat for defending us? This is the viewpoint that I explained to him promptly. Thank you. I feel so much better after hearing that. I was worried that I'd be alone in my sentiment. Self-doubt is never easy to endure. It eats at you, tears away from inside. Not even all the time in the world can help. But I guess I should just move on. It does not affect my situ my mission parameters. I need to protect everybody here. Everybody? That's not what he said before. Perhaps Singe gave him more duties. Well, you'll be safe in his office. While you're there, I'm meeting Daz. She's been acting a little odd lately. I don't know her very well, of course. But I can sense that when something is off... Funny you should say that. I guess he can't pick up on what I'm feeling. Especially with all the texts I've just received. I thought it would be blatantly obvious for him. Maybe his mind is occupied with something else. Or perhaps someone else. Dun dun dun! Oh, Jesus. Thank you for the little chat, William. I know it's stupid that we're confined. But I still feel somewhat free. I'll take my time to greet everyone. Starting with Daz, as I mentioned before. So, if you'd be kind enough to excuse me. Ah. He walks away without saying another word. Even... Without even waiting for me to respond to what he said. I'm left in front of Singe's office with my thoughts. Thoughts that someone out there wants to kill. Thoughts that someone out there wants to kill. That's... Maybe, <coughs> Maybe this game was, uh... Rushed a little bit. I I'm not gonna say it's a bad game. There are just a few tiny. I mean, in a game that's like longer than the entire fucking Encyclopedia Britannica, it's kind of hard to not have the occasional fuck up. You know what I mean? Thoughts that someone else has powers to the Ark. Thoughts that we were surrounded by deadly weapons. About to meet with the man who holds it all together, Singe, the manager of the World Tour, the one in charge of everything. Why does this fill me with such unease? Now that Akron is gone, I can hear voices. Without a doubt, they belong to Keela and Singe. Those offices lit up with their conversation. I hope they didn't start without me. I'm not late. I can hear their voices as clear as day. Save for a few muffled words, at least. In fact, now I'm curious as to what they're saying. What else could be so important that they can't wait? Go inside, motherfucker! Not all choices have immediate consequences. Thanks, motherfucker. I was tempted to... I got an achievement for that? Eh, whatever. I was tempted to listen in, but I'll admit that was not my nature. I trusted them enough to not to hide anything from me. That's not really... It's just like, they are hiding something from you. Fucking don't give them the opportunity. That's what I'm saying. Don't give them the opportunity. M for meh. 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 At least they haven't deceived me thus far. They were probably just making idle conversation. It's not like they'd sit there in silence without me. So without much pause, I open the door. It opens with relative ease, and I slowly go inside, hopefully to gain some answers from the man himself. Yes, I'd like to save my game. God damn, there's a lot of save points right now. That means this episode's probably going to be a little long. No, oh, that's great. Fucking great. Meanwhile... Guess we just don't get to know what's going on in the fucking thing. Guess I better make myself comfortable. Might be living here for a while now. I should probably go and meet with Daz. Her schedule need adjusting. Shock and Rocker too, for that matter. I hate their constant fighting. Worse than an old married couple. Daz will have to ease into her new role. It's going to be a bit overwhelming for her. 
Hopefully I can make it easier. I don't want her getting uncomfortable. I should prob... probab... Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Almost ran right into you. That's where you're going, all right? Oh, trust me, I was. And you're just the man I'm looking for. I don't like that she's looking for him. Wait, you were looking for me? <sighs> Think about having me confused, lady. You know, with someone important. Now, now, don't leave me waiting, Rook. Whoa, the menacing music! I've been looking everywhere for you. There's no need to be rude about this. I have prior engagements. However, would you like an appointment? I'm open to rescheduling this. Just let me know what time you're free. An appointment? Hmm? I can work with that. You know, the press conference room? Yeah, that's like my second home. Since she sure has a flair for the dramatic, holds a conference for almost everything. Would you be able to meet me there later? I'm asking you to come alone, of course. Dots? What is the nature of this appointment? Business, of course. You're Singe's assistant, right? He's hard to reach, so I'll take you. You'll have to be a little less vague. Do you really not know who I am? I'm not a big f I'm not big on the tabloids, sorry. I'll have to take that as a compliment. Either way, call me Maxine Armstrong. Now, that's weird. All the women in this game seem to only want the first part of their name. They uh, Everyone has to have a masculine name for some fucking reason. Sam did the same thing. Max does that. Maxine Armstrong. I'm the CEO of Armstrong Incorporated. Oh, so that's who you are. He kept all of your dealings private. That's one thing I hate most. Hiding. Thought it was lying. Or being late, or inefficiency, or whatever the fuck you... You have a lot of one things you hate the most. I always go for transparency. Withholding information is horrible. You'll have to excuse my lack of joy. Can't expect everybody to just bow before you. I'm not exactly a fan of your work, Max. Wow, you're just as cocky as she said. She? Oops, I've said too much. The rest can wait for our appointment. How does 7 o'clock sound to you, Rook? I'm free. And the press room is good? As good as any other, I suppose. Great, I'll see you then. And remember, come alone, Rook. She's gonna kill him, isn't she? I hope not. Yeah, whatever, I have stuff to do. Oh, you motherfucker. Really? Yes, of course you do. Always a busy man. By all means, enjoy what time you have left! No! God damn it! You motherfucker! You motherfucker! In the present! We're backstage. What the fuck you mean backstage? Oh, it's these motherfuckers. You should slow down on the caffeine. I, I heard it's not good for you, Shock. And I mean this as a friend. Six hundred two drinks in one day? I haven't had much sleep. I'm drinking them to stay awake. Rook robbed me of my rest last night. Can you just take a nap then? There's not much to be done today. I'd say it's a write-off. Get some rest. I can't. What do you mean? I tried earlier, and it's my dreams. I haven't caught up to reality yet. He's still in there, if you know what I mean. Oh. That might take a while, Shock. You need to sleep sometime soon. Those drinks can't keep you up that long. You don't know what it's like. Sure I do. I just coped differently. We all handle death in different ways. Some people can even be harmful with it. Coping. That's what you think this is? When I look at the brand you're drinking? I'd have to say yes. The contest is over. There's no need to drink that many, Shock. I don't know what you're hoping to find. There won't be anything inside those cans. You might have to look somewhere. Look elsewhere, Shock. You're reading into this too much. It's not like I drink these to honor him. It doesn't work that way for me, remember? Funny you should jump you would jump to that conclusion. I didn't mention anything of that so of the sort. 
Dot. You might not realize what you're doing. Sometimes your body does it automatically. It was largely the same for me, Shock. Ever wonder why I carry a bass guitar? You know, for, the f for, for a fact, I can't play one. You mean... Yes, it's a memento. But it's more permanent than a pop star. It'll last forever, given the right care. You might need to change your thinking. I'm not stupid, Shock, and you know that. You're only pretending to be carefree. You need to cope, not push it aside. You said it could last forever. Yes, with love and care, Shock. Th this will last as long as I want it to. It may even outlive me at this outlive me at this rate. You might be breathing too much into this. I'm strong enough. I don't need a crutch. A memento would just flood me with memories. It might make it more intense at first, but eventually you'll give it new meaning. The memento becomes yours, not theirs. I'm not sure I follow. You'll have to see for yourself, Shock. I'm not going to force anything on you, but at least tell me you'll consider it. And promise you'll lay off, Popstar. I don't need you anxious and jittery. Fine. If you want to have any bad experiences, call me. Night terrors or anything in between. I'm your friend, Shock. I'm here for you. I know you're strong enough to do this. Don't play the proud guy and go at it alone. That's the worst possible idea, man. It ensures that the problem never goes away. You bottle it up and eventually explode. We don't want any exploding happening here. Well, this time you're right. Thank you for the advice. No problem. You know, everyone says we fight a lot, but I always say we're really good friends. And I think we just proved that. Yeah. Anyways, I was just going to say, I have a meeting here in a little bit. You can go ahead, I'll stay backstage. Feel free to go do whatever you want. Just don't try to leave the building. Wouldn't want to make Singe upset. Can't make any promises. I seem to make him angry at every turn. He's not the only one. I hate you. <laughs> no, you don't, Shock. They laugh and give wide smiles to one another. He slowly walks away, leaving Rocker behind. No one ever asked me to meet up with them, let alone someone as influential as- Oh God, no! I wonder if it's something special. Yeah, I'd like to save my game. I really hate to do this to you guys. But I'm gonna have to call it here. There's some shit that's gonna happen in the next episode. And I have a feeling that it's going to be bad. So I am going to leave it to what it is by itself. I'm not getting, I'm not fucking around with this. Uh, we will see what happens in the next one. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, I have been the trainer professional speaking for the voices in my head when I say, until next time, still alive. <laughs> Bye, everyone.